Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. It is June 26th, I think. June 25th. Saturday, June 25th. And midway through June, well, late June, actually, this is what we get in Colorado. It's very, okay. I will say one thing, though. The altitude makes it very hot when it's sunny. Sun's like right there. So this is actually nice. I like this. This is good weather for right now. It's like flurries. It's sick. It's like 56 degrees or something. Uh, the Mustang. I have made progress on that. And I would like to show you guys the Cummins. I'm looking at some new wheels for this thing soon. But more importantly, we want to finish the Mustang project. Get this bad boy on the road again. So last night, Sam came over and helped me. Huge shout out to those boys. Always there helping me with this car. They know what they're doing. They know how to do it well, and they've been killing it. The fenders are all busted up because my wheels are too big, and we tried fixing it a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be seeable, but it's still really wavy. And I'm, I'm just looking. Yeah, you can see it right there. It's really wavy, and I am. I'm looking for as close to perfection as I can get uh, without spending, you know, entirety of money. So I ordered new fenders. They're pretty cheap, being a Ford. I'm keeping this hood for now. I do want to cowl later on, but I'm keeping this hood for now. Ordered new fenders. I do need to raise the car up about an inch and get smaller wheels for now. And then I'll mess with the fitment after I get everything done. Only reason being is, you know, the car is going to be freshly repainted. The last thing I want to do is screw up my fresh paint job uh, by rubbing. So yeah, the bumper, we're filling some rock chips right now. I'm gonna work on this when I get back home. I This is the final step. This rear bumper scuffed. There's nothing wrong with this one. This one is mint. So we scuffed it and we're just gonna shoot it. There was a small dent here on the rear body line and Sam came over. He helped fix it. He absolutely killed it. Check, check this out. You would never know. There was a dent right there and it was really noticeable because you know it's on the body line but man killed it. You know, cars sound great, but there is something else about a 6.7 Cummins. Listen to that thing, man. Woo! She sounds good. So, quick too, my brother, you guys might have seen him in a couple videos. He's had a uh, 335, and then he sold that for a really clean MR2 with a V6 in it. And then he sold that for an S4. It now has this Audi A6. I'm not a huge fan of Audi A6s, but he's done a great job with this car. It's really quick. And uh, today we're gonna go pick up some new wheels for it. So I'm gonna see if we can go do that maybe on our journey. This thing's pretty sweet. He lowered it on some long springs last night and uh, yeah, picking up his new wheels today. So I wanna try to see if we can't do that before we go get paint. Well, let's see. We got a lot of things to do today, boys. So I, uh, I just went to the paint store and they were closed. And that's kind of a bummer because they said they were open. So I need to find a time this next week to go ahead and get that paint um, exchanged. But now I am going with Little T Travis right there. Follow him on Instagram if you don't. Broke Beamer, really cool um, stuff he posts. But we're going to get him some new wheels right now for his A6. And so I'm pretty excited. And then we're gonna come home and try to kill, kill uh, some progress on the stand, get some progress done. But yeah, so I'm excited to see these wheels on this car. I haven't seen a modified A6 for a while, and it's it's a pretty clean car, as you can see. Um, it's it's a cool looking car, so I'm excited to see this. Um, without further ado, let's get going. What's going on, guys? So three, four hours later, and uh, it's been a crazy afternoon. So one, uh, little T, we went to get his wheels put on. The wheels that they ordered for his car did not fit at all, so they had to reorder in new wheels. Once they get those wheels in, they realized the tires weren't right, so then they had to order new tires, but it's all settled. Little T is somewhere with his car. I don't know where he's at, but 302 intake manifold, rails, injectors, and BBK throttle body just came up for, I think it's a deal and a half, so I'm gonna go pick it up tonight. Um, we're about an hour away, and uh, yeah, so we're waiting. For Zach to get here, he's gonna be here sometime. And then Anthony's here, we just finished a muffler delete on his car, which we still need to do the video on the Civic about, and you guys will see very soon. But 
yeah, so now we're headed up to get parts for the 5.0 and I'm very excited. I got those injectors at that swap meet in Phoenix and then this is the rest I needed plus a tune and then a cold air intake and then that's full bolt on for the 5.0 which is going to be fun. Do some other things like exhaust headers. I do have that Cook's X pipe and we might retrofit that to work but yeah, so let's head up to uh, Loveland I guess. It's the next morning. I'm out here working on the car already. Um, so the car is almost done. Ready for paint. My fenders, I ordered fenders, they get here Tuesday. But yeah guys, it's in its uh, final stages. After this is done, I'm gonna be spending some money on uh, wheels and performance parts, cause I need both. So, if you guys are excited for the build, please like the video, please stay tuned for more videos on the car. I'm very excited to be building it, and I'm very, very, very excited for it to be uh, road ready again. If you guys like today's video, please smash the like button. Look out for the next video, subscribe if you already haven't, and uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.